Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for March 26 of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to the mod review for March 26 of 2021. So uh, as always, we're going to start with the updates for today. So, uh, oh, and also, if you're looking for a specific mod, it'll be down below in the YouTube slider bar. Feel free to skip ahead to whatever you're looking for, but we'll go ahead and go through the updates. So we have updates to Walkin 2K20 by Astro Modding. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of the hat. Uh, we also have an update to the Vehicle Speed Sync by GTX. And again, if you want to read the change logs, feel free to pause the video so you can go ahead and read those. But we're going to go ahead and keep moving on here. Uh, continuing from there, we also have updates to the FarmTech EDK800 by Castan18. And sorry, the change log is a little bit off to the side there to try to get them to all fit. Uh, then we also had an update to the large grain storage by uh, Didec96, an update to the cow shed by SN Modding LSMT Modding, and an update to the open chicken coop by SN Modding LSMT Modding. Then we also finally have updates to the New Holland Versatile by uh, Hemerson Destinijo, and I won't continue from there. Uh, also to the Helmet 88 by Holes FS and the Zeter 12045-16145 pack uh, by Cat's 18 and Piscat. So there you go. Those are the updates for today. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the new mods. So the first new mod for the day is Store Sales. This is by GTX. This is 0.17 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. Uh, so I'm going to read off what this says in the mod hub and then we'll kind of go through it. So it says with this global script, and it does not require global company, by the way, uh, it's a new category will be added to the brands page of the shop. The store will now randomly offer single vehicles, tools, or occasionally an entire brand for a discounted price. Notifications will be shown at the top right of the screen when a sale starts. During brand sales, uh, maps that have been prepared for the mod will display discount signage and sales flags around the vehicle shop. Support for flags and signage is added by default to the following Giants, Giants made maps such as Felsbrunn, Ravenport, uh, Stancia La Pacha, and uh, Erlingrat. So there you go. Um, and it has some notes for the map builders in there as well. Um, very cool. Very cool. So essentially in the store, it gives you, if you go to brands, if there's anything on sale, it's going to pop up. Now, obviously nothing's on sale right now, but you might get 5%, 10%. I don't know. There could be different things on there. So uh, something that should have been a farming simulator from the beginning, a feature from an old farming simulator, if you remember, um, is now finally back in the game. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I know DJ Goham and Clutch will be excited about that too after watching the Farm Sim show uh, yesterday. Okay. Continuing from there, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep going through the mods. Next up, we have the Lizard the Beast 1000. This is by Egritono. This is 9.22 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If you're on console, it's going to run you 11 slots. This is found in the store under cars right here. The Beast 1000, $13,800 starting price, um, and it is going to have 81 horsepower, hold 50 liters of fuel, 71 or 74 miles per hour max. Now, you can adjust that in here, and I'll show you that in a second. So, I think that I don't really like the look of that, so I adjusted it. But anyhow, you can adjust it to anything you want on there. Um, the problem is these black chunks stay black, so you can't adjust the color on those. Um, we've adjusted everything. Well, if we adjust everything on here to some sort of red, you can see what you can and can't adjust on there. So uh, anything red, you can change the colors on, including the rims. Uh, anything that's black, you can't change out. So, uh, all right, under uh, knock-ins, we have rim one 4x4, four four, two 4x4, four four, uh, one 6x6, six six, two 6x6. Six six. If we go to lizard, we have one 4x4, four four, two 4x4, four four, one 6x6, six six, and then I think that was two six by six maybe yeah but it has one six by six in both of them but i'm pretty sure that's two um okay then if we keep going from there we're just back to knock-ins there so accessories we have standard we have platform with cover we have platform and we have standard uh design we have standard light two get back to the front without lights uh grade one light one grade one light two grade grade two nothing um and back to standard there we go down here we have attachers we have standard or we have a rear hitch so again you can do standard or rear hitch uh the beast 1000 60 kilometers per hour so you have the 60 you have the 80 the 100 and the 120 i've gone with the 120 it's roughly the 75 miles per hour 74. so there you go we hop out hop in it make sure you guys can actually hear what's going on yeah let's crank that baby up there we go i'll turn it down on my end so hopefully it doesn't come through my mic horn for you guys uh, beacons, I don't think it has any. Lights, one, two, three, off. One, two, three, off. And um, let's do some turn signals. I always forget to do those. You can see the little turn signal indicator there and on there. 
go the other side right there pretty sweet so there's all those guys for us uh, if I open up the help menu looks like we can unfold that using the left mouse button going up or down oh we can go all the way down too I like that uh, both mouse buttons you can open that door up or that was left to right sorry up and down you can open the driver's door uh, we do have tension straps oh wow even on the roof rack in the front that's awesome <laughs> that's very cool I don't know if that'll come with all configurations but at least this one um, in standard here um, it does have those which is pretty sweet um, okay let's go into the cab here turn off that everything seems to work great detail on it looks fantastic awesome that is awesome I don't think I've missed anything on there, but uh, there you go. That is the Lizard Beast, or the Lizard Lizard the Beast 1000 by Agritono. Next up, we have the Tatra Phoenix L Crane. This is by HR Forced. Mm, I'm not even going to try Farzenba. I guess I did try, but anyhow. 15.37 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. If you're on console, it's going to run you 27 slots. If we go in the store, this is going to be found. Was it under trucks? No, it was under forestry equipment, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. There we go. The Phoenix with L Crane, uh, 135,000 to buy, 462 horsepower, 440 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour. We go into here. Uh, we have some customization options, but I like the fact that you can kind of put whatever trailer you want on there and it has a crane with it. So, uh, rim color, you can adjust to anything on there if you'd like. Main color, again, anything on there. And then design color, you can do anything on there. So, there you go. Lots of different customization there. Uh, configuration, we have standard, we have plus trailer hitch, and then that's it. Uh, wheel brand under lizard we have standard under knock-in we have standard or whatever their standard is so you just have two different options there uh, actually the knock-ins look quite nice looks like you got some white walls out on those i like that i don't think i've ever seen white walls in a farming simulator i could be wrong but that's the first time i remember them uh bull bar you do yes or with lights so there you go uh horsepower so you have the 462 650 and that's it so you can bump it up to 650 if you'd like but there you go Pretty cool little truck. We'll hop in it here. You guys should be able to hear it just fine. Drives just fine. You got the rear steering axle there. Cab does nice little movements as you go backward, forward, and everything like that. Um, horn. Nice. Beacons. Perfect. Lights. One, two, three, off. One, two, three, off. There we go. Um, turn signal, left, right, and from the front, right, and then the left there. So there you go. Uh, if we go into the cab here, everything does look quite nice. Cab moves around quite a bit. I like that crane. I'd be scared that thing would, I guess there's a bar there, huh? So I'd be scared that it hit the window otherwise. But uh, there you go. Uh, let's go out here, open up the help menu. If we hit X, we can, oh, I'm in the, sorry, I'm in the crane now. And C again to go outside all the way. Uh, so the crane's been unfolded. I can now theoretically move it around. Do whatever I need to do with that. But, yeah. Actually, it's not allowing me to really... For another view? There we go. So it wasn't allowing me to look around very much. So uh, there it looks like there's in the cab. There's from this view. And then this one's kind of locked on the outside. And then you kind of have the free view here. Uh, again, you can do everything you can do with the crane. So pretty standard there. We don't really need to go through that. But there you go. That is the Tatra Phoenix L crane. Next up, we have the Magzi interface. This is by Equip Modding. This is 0.55 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. It's only gonna run you one slot if you are on console, and it is this little guy on the ground here. Um, that is a telehandler hookup that allows you to pick up three-point link equipment. So I'll show you that in a second here. Um, telehandlers, where are we at here? Here we are, perfect, okay. So if we go all the way down to the very end, the interface is right there, 1600 to buy. Um, if you go into here, you can adjust the color to gray if you want to, um, and you can add this guy right here, which I don't know what the tether would do. I don't know if it works like a pin hitch. Kind of looks like it might, but uh, anyhow. So if we hop in a telehandler, I actually probably can turn down the uh, volume now since we're not looking at vehicles specifically. That way I'm not getting overpowered. To be able to hook up. There we go. Kind of fell on the ground for me. And then hook up to that. And I grabbed a three meter cultivator because I figured that is what everyone has the most of in Farming Simulator. At least that's based on what gets released in the Mod Hub. So now that we have that, we can lift our three meter cultivators and probably stack them or do something, do whatever you want with them. 
So I think it's a really cool mod, but uh, there you go. And I swore we had something like this built into the CSC pack, but I definitely could be wrong. Or if you just wanted that, you'd have a standalone mod, which was kind of nice too. So uh, there you go. That is the Magsy interface. Next up, we have the SIP Spady 3K12. This is by WolfX Modding. This is 3.99 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to run you three slots on console. This is a small plow. So if we go under here, under plows, all the way at the very end, the Spady 3K12, 250 bucks though. Even if it's only 1.5 meters, that's nice. So it might be nice if you're doing a small equipment series or something like that. Seven miles per hour is standard for plows, so nothing strange there. Only requires 20 horsepower, so... I mean, you could run this thing with the Ferguson tractor without any issues, but there you go. No customization. Nice little kit there. I actually grabbed some small tractors today to use it, and I never used Stara, so I figured I'd try out some Staras. There we go. Plows there, and then if we open up the help menu, it should allow you to create fields. So we'll go over here to my little disaster. This, yep, there we go. We're creating fields, and now we're going to drive off this little cliff here. But there you go. Pretty cool. So you have the uh, SIP Spady 3K12. Next up, we have this, and I can never say the brand right, so I apologize. This is the Forstrit uh, B352 uh, by AAA Modding. This is 3.94 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If you're on console, this is going to run you five slots. If we go in the store, this is going to be found uh, under discounts. By the way, if you're not on console and you're on PC, you don't have to worry about slots, so just ignore that. But I put it on there for our console guys watching, and gals, of course. Um, this is the four strip B3527000 to buy. 80 horsepower required, 2.1 meter working width, runs at 9 miles an hour to blue standard. Oh, actually, it's a little bit slower. Um, okay, we go into here, standard or brown or green. That's what you got. So, a couple different customization options in there if you want, but it should just leave a cultivated state behind. Be to lower it down. I could hire a worker if I want to, but there we go. It's cultivating as it should. So, there you go. That's the four strip uh, B352. All right, next up, we have the uh, Matri pack, or the, I don't know how to say it, the Matri, M-A-I-T-R-E. This is by Nikopix and NikoDo55. This is 57.95 megabytes. This is for all platforms. I'll go over slot counts as we go through it. It is a pack of seven trailers. So, um, and this one, just forewarning, I will guarantee miss something on these because these have some uh, different customization options. So I guarantee I'll probably miss something. Um, we'll just start under trailers here. We go down to the very end, we have a couple of different trailer options in here. So we have uh, the Atlas 18, which the Atlas 18 is going to run you 16 slots. Then we also have the Dump, which is going to run you 10 slots on console. So there's their slot counts. Um, they both are bulk. Carriers can hold everything. This will hold 39,000 liters. This one will hold 12,760. That one's much more money, or a fair amount more, actually. I don't know why. Uh, but if we go into here, um, lots of configuration. So standard. We have grain body work, so standard is 24,200 liters, that's 29,200, then 39,000 liters for the big uh, silage body work there. Now, I don't know under silage body work, I'm guessing it might only hold like silage type crops under that, but I'm not, not sure, I haven't tested that. Oh, I didn't want to go out of there. Um, under Michelin, we have the cargo X-bibs, the HFs, the XS, and then back to the X-bibs. Here are the work, we have the twin radials, T404s, and then back to twin radials. Then Midas, we have those guys, and Knockins, we have those guys. Then we're under Lizards, which we have the FL630s, the FL648s, um, the Rideback's, Flotation Track, FL630s again. So there you go. Design, standard, we can have a platform on there, uh, or back to standard. So a couple different options in there, and you can adjust the main color to yellow if you'd like. Now if we go to the Dump It, um, I believe a lot of it's the same. Uh, you can go to yellow if you want to. Uh, dump It 1810, which is 10,800. Uh, liters then the 21t is 12,760 and that's your two options there uh, Michelin we have the XS cargo X-bibs X-bib HS back to XS's uh, twin radials for trailer borgs T404s back to twin radials actually a lot of these are different um, yeah when we have one option for Midas and Noken um, FL60s FL648s and Ride Max rotation track FL630s again so there you go lots of different tire options for all these guys which I think is sweet um, so there's the trailers Next, let's do, hmm, let's do, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's do the manure spreaders. And there's two manure spreaders, the Vulcan 200 Simple and the Vulcan 200 Double. Uh, these are each 11 slots if you're on console. So um, this one just has two axles is my understanding. Different prices, 12 meter spread width, both uh, run at 12 miles per hour, uh, which I believe is standard. Yeah, and then uh, both require, it says, that that can't be correct. It says 2,000 horsepower. Uh, I'm assuming they meant 200 because uh, 2,000 horsepower seems a bit extreme. And it says they can hold 21,000 liters there. So let's take a look. Uh, main color, you can adjust to yellow once again. Uh, standard, 
uh wood body work does that add anything yep does 19,000 21,000 liters and then metal body works to 21,000 again as, as well under trailer boards we have tm 700s 2000s 3000s 900s 800s and back to 700s under michelin we have the axio bibs i'm just going to scroll through them so you guys can see the different tire configurations on there under midas sfts i don't see i just see the tire changing i don't see anything changing on here so i guess they're all sfts and then back to the trailer borgs there so and i believe this is i'm going to guess this is all very similar so yeah looks like this is very similar so just the double axle version they hop out of there we have what else do we have on here Oh yes, that's right, the bailing trailers. So that was four, I think the last three are under here. Bailing technology, go down to the very end. Well, there's a lot of them in here. I'm guessing, I know I said seven trailers, but like more like 10. Um, so all of these guys in here, the 160 SPs, if it says 160 SP on it, um, those guys are gonna run you five slots each, and then the 200s are also five slots each. Okay, perfect, just read my, oh, no, I didn't wanna do that. There we go. Um, yeah, and the 200s are five slots each. This might just be two trailers in here. Um, I feel like I'm missing a trailer. No, that's all of them. Okay, perfect. So one, two, three, four, five, I feel like six, six maybe trailers. I don't know, let me look down my list here. I feel like I'm missing one of these trailers somewhere, which is very possible, but uh, anyhow. So these are all, they're all very similar. You just have a couple different options on them here. So if I go down to just the ones for square bales, um, 15,400. 28 bales, um, you can see it's two axles in the back and a front hitch attachment. This one's the same thing, except it's longer. So 35 bales, this one's actually for round bales. Um, so actually it's probably, those are probably both the same trailer, just one's for round and one long. Sorry, getting a little confused here. Uh, the 10 meter one here, um, still the 160 SP, it's 32 square bales, so that one's be a little bit bigger. Um, this one's 40 round bales, so a little bit bigger as well. Then we have these guys which have swivel axles on them. Uh, okay, so that's probably the, the four different trailer types. Yeah, anyhow, <laughs> there's lots of bail trailers. They all do the same thing. They're all very similar. If we go in here, they all have the auto load option, which is awesome. So you can change that in there. But uh, uh, regardless of that, I'm not gonna really demonstrate these guys too much. There's not really a whole lot to say about it, but let's go ahead and uh, put some manure in this guy and see if it does require 2000 horsepower or not. X to unfold it. B to turn it on, and I am running, I know this tractor does not have 2,000 horsepower, so you don't need a, a crazy tractor to pull this thing. I think it's just going to be pretty normal. I think probably uh, 200 horsepower or two, but there you go. That is the Maytree pack. So, yeah, I apologize. It's such a long, lot, lot of stuff in that pack that I wanted to go over. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and move on. Next up, we have the Wilson Pace Setter Spread Axle. This is by Whiskey Sierra Modding. This is 9.05 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. If you're on console, it's going to run you 10 slots. This is found in the store. Go back down under here to trailers again, all the way at the very end. Here we are, the pace better, the pace better, the pace setter spread axle. 80,000 to buy, hold 60,000 liters of these crop types here. Hook it up to a semi truck or a dolly. Uh, main color, we can adjust to anything on there, which is kind of nice. And rim color, we can adjust to anything on there. So good customization on it, actually. Uh, no toolbox or toolbox if you want to add the toolbox in the center, which I've gone for right there. So if we hop in here and to open the cover, F11, we can go ahead and fill it up. Left control I to unload. It's just gonna dump it on the ground for me right there, but there you go. That is the Wilson Pace Setter Spread Axle. All right, and we are on to placeables. And our first one is the Tin, excuse me, the Tin Barn by Polish Powell 20. This is 4.59 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is gonna run you nine slots on console. We go into the store here. It's gonna be found under placeables, under sheds, right here, tin barn, 20,125 to buy, $10 a day maintenance. We take a look at it. I believe it's a drive-through shelter from what I was looking at. Yeah, it looks like you can drive through each side, which is nice. I always like that. Oop, I might've turned on the lights. Turn off these guys here. Lights on, there we go. There's the gate there, perfect. So yeah, good detail on it. You got lights in it, nice little drive-through shelter, little side areas here. Can you open those? I'm pretty sure it looks like there's like a door there. Oh, maybe not. It does look like there's a door there though. Hmm. Anyhow, there you go. That is the tin barn. Hopefully I didn't miss any secret doors anywhere, but uh, uh, there you have it. That is the tin barn by Polish Pawok 20. 
Next up, we have the Gardena Clever Roll M Easy. This is by Grassland Mods. This is 2.29 megabytes to download, and this is for PC and Mac players only. Um, so this is just a way to clean your vehicles. Like a little pressure washer type thing with the garden hose attachment on there. So pretty cool. I like it. Um, if we go into the store, this is found under miscellaneous, and it should be right here. The Clever Roll M Easy. $98 to buy. No uh, maintenance cost every day, but essentially it works as a pressure washer to clean your vehicles. So there you go. And here we have the Manure Storage Pack. This is by Casper. This is 4.34 megabytes to download. These are for all platforms. Um, let me see here. These are each going to run you nine slots if you're on console. There are four different options uh, in the store here. Um, so if we go under, I believe they're under... Gosh, are they under miscellaneous? Yeah, here they are. Okay, so... Oh, maybe there are even more options. So 5x5x1 five by five by with plates. And I'll show you. It's just a concrete plate. Versus the 5x5x1. Five by five by then we have the 6x6x1 six by six by with plate and the 6x6x1. Six by six by then we have the 7x7x1. Seven by seven by I'm um, the 8 by 8 by 1 and the 9 by 9 by 1. So actually, there's in the 10 by 10, there's actually quite a few more options in here than I thought. <laughs> and then 1.5. So lots of different options in here. I have a couple out. That's the plate there. Um, this is one without a plate. So they're just places to store manure if you'd like. So uh, there you go. That is the manure storage pack. Next up, we have the US Hay Silo. This is by AJ Farmer. This is 2.78 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. This is going to run you only three slots if you're on console, which is great. Um, this is found in the store under silos. Scroll down here to the very end. U.S. Hay Silo, 90000 to buy, $40 a day maintenance, holds 250,000 liters of hay and straw. There we go. It's like, uh... <laughs> but there you go. So pretty nifty. Um, you got your out point right here. Um, I can definitely see myself using this thing. This thing's pretty sweet. Um, then you got your end point right here, which is, that's awesome. Great little thing there. Kind of a nice little different thing compared to like a, a hay loft or a um, the hayloft we have in game, I guess I should say. So there you go. That is the U.S. Hay Silo. Next up, we have the Cobblestone. This is by Ecos. This is 2.16 megabytes to download and it's for all platforms. Um, if you are on console, these are each going to run you one slot. These are found in the store under decoration. Right here, we have a uh, small red cobblestone, big red cobblestone, small gray, and then big gray. Um, so yeah, I have two of the small ones. The red one is actually, it goes out to like here, but it's covered up when this one landscaped in. But anyhow, it's kind of a neat little feature there um, if you want a little pad somewhere, a little brick pad or cobblestone pad. So there you go. The cobblestone. Uh, yeah, the cobblestone by Ecos. And next up, just in case you <laughs> can't stop laughing, just in case you wanted to have mushrooms on your map. <laughs> these are the mushrooms uh, by Bartso NV3. These are 1.23 megabytes to download. Um, they're for all platforms. These guys are each going to run you one slot on console. Um, they're going to be found under decoration. Here you go, you got four different options. They're all out there. Five dollars each to buy. Thank God there's no daily upkeep for them, but there you go. Those are the mushrooms if you're looking for those. Next up, we have the pack of Brazilian warehouses. This is by FBT Modding. These are for all platforms, um, and they're 11.35 megabytes to download. If you're on console, they're each going to run you, oh gosh, five slots each. So I have two out here, but we'll just go through them all in the store. There's a lot of them, and I was running out of space, so I didn't place them all out. But I have this guy out here, 33,000. Uh, it's closed storage without extension, $12 a day. You have closed storage with extension one, $38,000, $15 a day. So you can see it adds kind of a side piece there. This one has two extensions, $43,000, $20 a day. And then we go over here, we have the same thing, but with the open storage. So I have this guy out there to take a look at. $20,000 to buy, $6 a day, $25,000 to buy, $8 a day, and $30,000 to buy at $10 a day. Uh, so yeah, yeah, pretty nifty. See if we can find, is there a light switch on this thing? Definitely lights in there. They might be automatic. I don't see a light switch that's super immediately obvious, but doesn't mean it's not there. Left click to open this guy up. And again, big warehouse. And I don't also see a light switch that's immediately obvious. So they might come on at night. Uh, but there you go. This is the pack of Brazilian warehouses. So yeah, some nice little warehouses there. A couple different options for you, depending on what you're looking for. So there you have it. Next up, we have the Cow Shed 3x3. This is by DMI 20mm Normandy. This is 14.97 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to run you 26 slots if you are on console. This is going to be found in the store under Animal Pens. I just scroll down here real quick. Cow Shed 3x3, 300000 to buy, $300 a day maintenance, holds 200 cows. So let's take a look at it here. These eyes should all open up. Now, where do we put the cows in? I don't usually go look for all the triggers, but I do want to find out where we put the cows in. It's like my minimum trigger finding. That one didn't seem to want to open. That's like the minimum I want to do is try to find where you put the cows. And it looks like it's all indoors too. I don't think there's a pasture or anything like that. 
I mean, there, there doesn't appear to be, so I don't think there's going to be. Uh, I don't know if all this stuff is supposed to open or not. Maybe if they open it from inside, we'll go around here. See if we can't find a trigger. Put cows in. Well, that guy opens up. I guess I had it covered by that other door there. This guy open up? No. Where's the trigger? Oh, it might be here in the middle. Oh, that kind of walk through some of the stuff in here. Oh, there we are, right there, 200 cows. How did I miss that right there? Anyhow, there you go, so 200 cows right there. That is the cow shed 3x3 three by, three by DMI 20 millimeter Normandy. And our final mod for the day is the Modern Cow Stable. This is by Farmer5Tom. This is 40.71 megabytes. This is for uh, PC and Mac players only. It does say this requires manure system. Um, I tried to put it, I tried, I loaded into the game without manure system and it just wasn't in the placeables. It didn't exist in there. I had it installed, I had it selected, but it just didn't exist. So then I loaded out and loaded back in with manure system activated and it did show up in there. So I think you really truly do have to have it in there, but 91,000 to buy, $50 a day, holds 25 cows. So um, let's see if we can't uh, take a look around and have a little bit better luck finding the trigger for cows. There's actually some triggers marked. So ooh, right, right there, there we go, 25 cows. That's actually a pretty cool little uh, little barn. And I don't, you, I don't know if you have to. Well, I guess if you have manure system installed, you might have to use it. But this doesn't seem to open that little. But at least you can drive through it probably and run through it. And you can also hang out over here. Hey, it looks just like the dreaded couch that I have that I can't get rid of on uh, Sandy or not Sandy Bay on Shellington. <laughs> Anyhow, there you guys go. That is our final mod. That is the modern cow stable. Um, yeah, that's everything for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this mod review, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.